Mark Cuban was born in 1958 in Pittsburgh to a middle-class family with working-class roots. His grandfather had worked peddling merchandise out of the back of a truck and his father spent most of his life working in a car upholstery shop. So, Mark's family was very familiar with hard work, which perhaps inspired Mark's own work ethic. Notwithstanding his modest beginnings, Mark clawed his way forward using his natural skills. At age 12, Mark sold garbage bags from door to door to get money. As he grew older, he kept hustling for a buck, selling stamps and coins. He even claimed that he was once so poor that he did not have the minimum $200 required to open a bank account. Mark's hustle wasn't limited to selling alone. Throughout his high school, he continued with promoting disco parties and bartending. He skipped his senior year to enroll at the University of Pittsburgh, but was later transferred to Indiana University, where he not only put himself through school, but also borrowed about $15,000 to buy a bar, which he turned into the most popular bar in town. After graduation, the unrelenting Mark got his first job in the early 1980s in a software company named Your Business Software. He noticed the rise of computers in the workplace and he began to make some handsome relationships with multiple software clients. He began to meet the software clients on the side to seek the business opportunities to grow his personal business. Your Business Software saw this and fired Mark, but the clients came with him. Mark immediately launched the Microsolutions Consulting Company. The company was based on software reselling, which gained a lot of publicity in a very short time. Mark, who was not yet contented with his status, sold the company for $6 million and went back to work to solve other problems. In 1995, he formed Broadcast.com with his friend Todd Wagner which helped the internet move from the closed environments it was, like what AOL was at the time, the digital world we know now. Four years later, Mark together with his team solved the problem of streaming audio over what was for most people the internet they reached through dial-up connections. That was a valuable technology that allowed Mark to sell the company to Yahoo for $5.6 billion. With the funds, Mark bought the Dallas Mavericks in 2000 and gained fame from his outspoken actions as the team's owner. Currently, Mark has a stake in countless startups from investments made on the Shark Tank show. Mark worked his way up from his very little beginning, but his favorite quote explains it all. It doesn't matter how many times you fail, you only have to be the right once. And then everyone can tell you that you are an overnight success. Here is the thing, rising from poverty to wealth is like climbing a slippery mountain. You have to be prepared to fall several times and pick yourself up each time you fall. For most people, there should be an easier path than this. And that's where the problem lies, because life doesn't give you what you think you deserve, but what you are willing to fight for. You might wish to achieve success easily or without much failures, but that's just your wish. The reality is that you have to try, dare, and fight. Tom Bradley said, and I quote, the only thing that will stop you from fulfilling your dreams is you. Your lack of zeal and your unrealistic expectations are the reason why you might never achieve your dreams. Mark Cuban started selling garbage bags at age 12 because he had to make money. He went through his teenage and early adult life trying, daring, and failing in different businesses and that's why he succeeded. If you are afraid of making mistakes, you'll try only a few things and you'll have only a few successes. Be aggressive, be curious, learn, read, act, and when you fail, smile and try again. If you like this video, do subscribe to this channel so you'll be notified when we publish our next videos. Also, like this video or share it with your friends on social media. Thank you. We love you.